So I wanted to address something that Alpha Investment said. There's a lot to unpack in his depressing video. Very sad. But he's been undercutting local game stores for his entire existence. And when he's like, oh, Amazon destroying the local game stores. No, he was doing that before Amazon. I mean, what is Amazon? They have a monthly monthly subscription or a yearly subscription, right? You pay basically a month. We can divide it in by 12. A subscription program to get items slightly cheaper than normal. And I'm not at all surprised that the game stores that are the backbone of every trading. I, I know people are going not going to want to hear this. Uh, the backbone of the trading card community is playing the game. So recently I was hanging out with my girlfriend's nephew and he plays Yu-Gi-Oh! There is a small community. I'll give them a shout out. They're called Mortal Cards with a K. We actually called uh, and we took him there with actually his great aunt or grandmother. I'm not really sure. Um, so I went there, you know, I drove him there, I drove the family there, and uh, he liked it. It was a, the backbone of any card shop should be gameplay, right? It's not investing and sitting on boxes. So when you have people, I use my strip club analogy, okay? I think it's very, very important to understand. If you have a few hundred dollars, let's say you have $400 in a month of disposable income for things and you spend it on only fans and then you go to a strip club and you don't have any money to spend in a strip club the strip club will kick you out that's just the nature of the game uh, a local game store will not and i think in the future local game stores should and many of them currently uh, either you buy an item or you buy an item from the cafe which is really overpriced or you pay for a table this is the future of the local game store. That's what happened in my local mall is they started charging money to be in the game store. They had this play area and you had to get, you buy, you buy per hour or you buy an item, which I think is fair. So the same people who pay $15 a month to Rudy Chan and buy $8,200 of MetaZoo kits, only five kits, will not pay eight cents to your local game store where the local game store has to hire an employee. They may be a judge for a bigger tournament, right? They have to give free promos. They have to give store credit. They have to do a one-to-one -one trade in store credit. They have to provide a place that is safe, right? Kid-friendly and nice, you know, with air conditioning or heating, right, during the winter. This is what the local game store provides you, the player base. And yet you spend all your money on OnlyFans and you want to go to the strip club. Well, in real life, that's not going to happen. And in card life, that's not going to happen. I talked to so many card store owners and that the reason they cannot carry MetaZoo, not only is MetaZoo just a losing proposal, right? You buy for 70 and it goes down to 50 but more about Flesh and Blood. Flesh and Blood isn't doing that poorly. They figured it out and good on them. But the game stores are not going to let this mf -er undercut them. He's got special play matches. He's got his own promo cards. He's got his own, you know, a promo card of himself. He's got other promo cards that are exclusive to him, code foils. So he has a advantage to undercut every single game store. Well, the game store is going to ask the same question that they asked MetaZoo. Okay, if there's a dude online and he's selling such amounts of this product... Why should we buy? Why, why should we buy? Sim simply put, why should we support this game when we do so much for the game and this guy does so little for the game in terms of gameplay? Great. He sold a lot of stuff for you, but that's not going to help you now because you are a game, and to my knowledge, Flesh and Blood is actually a playable game, unlike MetaZoo. MetaZoo is going to zero, guys. I hate to tell you this. It's exactly what Rudy said. There might be a small group of people who still support the game, but it ain't going to be a big group of people. It ain't going to be people buying $8,200. You're not never, never going to see that again. You're never going to see an individual spend $8,200 on five Brucha boxes again. Those days are long gone. And they're not coming back. So the idea that Rudy is good for local game stores is 
mother having hell. I own a local game store, and every time somebody said Alpha Investments, I just kick them out of the store. I have that right. It's my store. Every game store has the right to turn down service. Every restaurant has the right to turn down service. And the reason I would do this, that guy's never going to buy anything from your store. I 100, I, t- nine times out of nine, I was going to say 10 times out of 10, that dude has already spent all his money on this guy. The guy has got addicted to OnlyFans and he spent all his budget on OnlyFans. Like when you are, like let's say that you, you run a strip club and the guy is talking about, oh, I donate, I'm a big baller. I donate so much money to OnlyFans. You just stop. You don't, you don't, you don't even need to let him in, him in the door. You know this guy's broke. He's addicted to OnlyFans and it's time to show him the door, right? He ain't got no money for your establishment. And this sounds harsh. This sounds bad. But this guy has undercut the local game store, putting it in probably bankrupting many of them. People are like, oh, it's the local game stores. Things do not compete. It's a different business model. You don't understand. Okay, if the local game store acted the way that Rudy acted, you would have nowhere to play. Right? With no employees, there would be no judges, there would be no jobs, there would be nothing. Rudy has no employees. He's. When's the last time you saw him at his game store? No, I'm asking, right? I don't watch him every day. When's, has he gone to his game store recently? I don't think so. I've looked at his videos. When is the last time this dude has been to his, quote, game store that is not open to the public, that he only has for distribution reasons? It's bonkers insane, guys. Like, you guys, there's so many people in the comments, oh, I want to give him a hug. I want to give him a high five. Okay, go to visit his game store. Go, go, right? Go. He's got a game store. It's public. Go. I mean, this business model was undercut. I mean, and, and he's, a, he's a problem. He's, the Amazon copied his model but just did a better job at it. They undercut him. You know, his patrons are leaving because of Amazon. How do I know that? Because they email me. I get notified of every single drop he has. There, there's some, I think there's, some, there's a patron who I'm getting this information from who obviously has been a patron for a long time, and he's just like, hey, look at this, look at that, look at this. Dude, it's savage. I, I can't even explain how savage this is that um, that at one time, this was, you know, the exclusive play math and the code foil, like, this guy is not good for your game. Like, there are people, and they're rightfully so, he doesn't, they don't want him to touch One Piece. You don't want him to touch Donkana. He's probably going to get his hand on Donkana. I don't think One Piece will give. I hope they don't. They're a Japanese company. So, like, he bought Weiss not from Bushi Road. He bought it from a clearance distributor. So, I don't think uh, what he can get his hand. Maybe he'll get his hands on One Piece, but I don't know. But probably not at the levels that he gets his hands on. They're, One Piece, let me, let me promise you a few things. One Piece will never have a promo of Rudy in their card game. Magic will never have a promo of Rudy in a card game. Pokemon will never have a promo of Rudy in a card game. Yu-Gi-Oh! will never have a promo of Matt, of him in a card game. Digimon, Weiss will never have a promo of Rudy Chan. The only two games that have it is, uh, I think he has one promo in Flesh and Blood. And he has probably like a dozen or so promos with him and his kids in the uh, MetaZoo. But those days are over. The good days have ended. <laughs> 